All right. I said it before and I'll say it again. I'm keeping my expectations at a mid. I want to play Madden again. I want to play NBA 2K again. Those are the games I played, oh my goodness, so many hours. It was kind of the reason, actually one of the main reasons, I didn't play a lot of fighting games. Like y'all know I say it all the time. Fighting game, the whole genre is my favorite in gaming. But then I got so wrapped up in playing Madden and 2K, I lost sight of it. But now I'm looking to do both. I'm playing fighting games and sports. I'm going to play the college game. College look good. College look good. I'm hoping it's as, uh, you know... It doesn't fail me when it's released and you play like I'm hoping. Um, but on Madden, yes, I'm 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 not gonna say it's terrible. I'm not on that hate train. I'm gonna keep them low expect or mid expectations. So let's we'll see what this trailer has. It looks like they're gonna show gameplay right off the bat of the reveal trailer, which is good. Um, because it's Madden. Come on, we don't need no cinematics for Madden. But um, yes, I am hoping. And I'm looking to play, if I get it, uh, head-to-head online and use my Raiders team. I'm a Raiders fan. My whole family's an Eagles fan, so I'm, like, my second favorite team is the Eagles due to, it's like a family thing. But personally, always been a Raiders fan since a kid. But, um, yeah, let's see what we got here. I'm hoping, bro. This is a reveal trailer, so I'm not expecting too much. But let's just, you know, I look forward to when they share actual gameplay information and all that. But let's see here. Who's the McCaffrey? That's right. Wait, was that Justin Fields? This is Field Sense powered. By I'll go back in a minute. Authentic I'm going back now. Bump one that. One uh, hold up. Justin Fields is playing special teams. Oh, that is Justin Fields. Am I missing something? I, I mean, obviously, he was a QB for the Bears, and, you know, he's with the Steelers now. But he never played. Spe I didn't follow the Bears that much, but I don't remember watching football seeing Justin Fields and special teams. I don't know. May I I'm not going to judge that situation and say, oh, man's messing up. I'm not going to say that because I might be missing something. You know, maybe I'm missing something here. Maybe he did play special teams, and I just never saw it. All right, we're just going to look past it. Let me know in the comments, though. Let me know in the comments. Yeah, I noticed they switched teams there. This is Field Sense, powered by Boom Tech. Authentic one-on-one -on -one impacts fueled by physics. But Field Sense isn't just Boom Tech. Now you see me, now you... Spectacular new grab. Oh, no. Wait. I did like how he grabbed that like more that. more control across the field. So you can combo killer new hezzies with wicked new jukes. I've heard that before, though, of having better control with your ball, movement. Your so we'll see when we play. It's time to buckle your chin straps and lower your shoulders. So you can dominate in franchise mode. All with right, the top franchise mode. And fresh playbooks. I like that showing that on the first trailer. Because Hopefully they invest more like time that. into it. There's the cover art player. Now shout out to McCaffrey. I always liked him. Oh, that's oh that's right. It is a reveal trailer, so it's short. All right, but yeah, the big <laughs> the question for me at first was McCaffrey. I, I mean McCaffrey. Uh, Justin Fields. I have never seen. Maybe you know what I'm thinking. If I'm you know, if I'm right and he doesn't play special teams, maybe that was like an ultimate team, you know, out of position players. I don't know. Let me know in the comments about that. But I'm going to look more into this uh, field sense again and pause and see what they're saying. Because some of the stuff I heard, I believe we've heard before. Well, I know we've heard some of them before. Physics-based tackling. Authentic data-driven impacts. You know... I ain't going to front. A lot of things sound better than they actually are. You know, I don't know how much more. I, I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll just see when it comes out. But Field Sense isn't just boom tech. AI blocking logic. That's one thing I do hope is that um, AI, when it, like blockers, actually do their job and defensive tackles. Because if you watch, so actually a lot of gamers showed it already, have shown it. But you'll see blockers just standing there and they don't react. 
They don't double team when you set up the double. They don't even defensive uh defensive line. They don't react like I, I had a moment. Well, not me. He uh it wasn't me. It was another guy playing. He his defensive. He sent a blitz, and he should have got the sack. I felt so bad for him because he lost that game because of that one play. Two of his D line. Well, I'm sorry. One of his uh, D line on the corner at the edge had an open route to the quarterback. The offense had their blocks. Um, they didn't block. They, he wasn't blocking enough. And the one defensive guy at the edge, the LB or right back, whatever, one of those sides, did not move at all. You literally saw him. He had to replay it because he knew it was a sack. He was like, wait, something's not right. And he was already saw He went to the replay. And he saw the guy just standing there not reacting. Stuff like that. And with the blocking as well, I hope they actually, you know. Don't have any issues with that because that happened a lot. That wasn't a spectacular new, grab. new catch mechanics. Okay. But yeah, that's not something that's every once in a while. That actually happened a lot. You block the running back. He doesn't do anything. He just stands there and lets you get sacked. Um, yeah. Moments like that. You send extra to get the quarterback and the safety you send him in and he doesn't do anything. Uh, yeah. Oh, and I hope we don't have a lot of quarterback knockbacks. That's what I call them where they knock the defender out the way. There's only certain quarterbacks that should be able to do that. I hate it. Certain ones. I'm like, all right, hold on now. Like, <laughs> Hobie had J.J. Watt. Ta who was it? Not Brady. It was, forgot who, it was no Cam Newton who's your, who you can bounce off or Lamar who you can speed pass. It was, I forgot his name, in the pocket quarterback. And Watt smothered him. And he just shows Watt out the way. Yeah, I, I, we don't want that. I don't want that. You know, Wait, so new catch had the mechanics as I said. The field. See that right there is stuff that we've seen already, but we'll see how it feels when we play it. An elusive new ball carrier Improved. mechanics. Okay, that's been in the game already. It's time to buckle your chin straps and yeah, I do hope there's some better animation. They keep having the same ones and they'll add like one or two. I'm glad though they're mentioning franchise mode on the first trailer. That means, hopefully, that means they're actually going to put more time into it. And in career mode too. Even though that could probably, you can add that to franchise as well. So yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm keeping... Mid expectations. This is the first trailer, so I'm gonna say so far it looks good. Some things I've seen before. I need to know about that Justin Fields because I've never seen him play special teams. But in my defense, I don't watch the Bears that hard. Like I said, I'm a Raiders guy and Eagles. So let me know in the comments below and let me know what you think about. Actually, I'm curious. Should I look at the comments because there is a lot of hate baiting when it comes to the, like a lot of hate trains for Madden and 2K and stuff like that. And some, I understand why some people don't like it, but then there's some who do it just because it's popular to hate a game. So let's just see. Oh, any guess? Oh, so they did mention, hold up. Any guesses on the first player show? Well, no, the first player show was the kicker. I don't, I don't care enough to look. Um, That's gotta be the worst revealed trailer for any sports game I've ever seen. I'm not even joking. Oh boy, oh boy. See what I was like, and I don't. I'm not gonna say this dude just is on the hate train. I'm just very careful with both parties, and what I mean by that is those who praise the game and those who are hating, because there are some who praise the game like this. No matter if there's flaws or not, I don't see the game is great. The game is great, and then there's some who hate where they didn't see anything they watch they, they they're looking at the trailer but they're not really paying attention they're just ready to hate so that's the thing when it comes to stuff like this and certain tv shows and entertainment in general there are some who truly have a good reason to not like the game or or like the game or whatever and then there's some who love it for the attention or hate it for the attention just to join the group so i don't know that's his opinion i'm not saying that's him whoever that was in the comments but uh you know Hey, I mean, let's see. Yeah, I'm saying college football, I'm looking forward to. Like he said, college football beats man. This isn't moving me. Like I, I'm I'm in the middle. That's what I'm saying. I'm not pre-ordering Madden yet. I pre-ordered college football. I'm not pre-ordering Madden yet. Okay, so somebody else even said it. Feels that kick return is just petty and filthy. I thought that was weird too, all right. He's not going to return kicks. Just the fact that he was out there, though. 
the new kickoff rule change it's a it's a possibility oh there's a rule i didn't know that i gotta look that up what's the rule change weak trailer feels return to kick. <laughs> yeah okay so i'm not the only one who thought that was weird okay anyway let me know what you think and i'm keeping a level head and just wait I'm looking forward to more information. And honestly, to be real, I have to play the game. If you have EA Play, that's good. I would advise to get EA Play. I'm not sponsored. The reason I'm saying it is because it's only $5. And instead of paying six, and you get the whole game. You get the whole game for like six, what was it, 10 hours. You can get play the whole game full for 10 hours. I would advise doing that before paying $70 for a game and get disappointed. So, and that's what I'm gonna do for Madden. For Madden, I'm using my EA Play. It's only five bucks, and I'm playing the whole ten hours. Then I'll decide if I want to buy it. I would, advise, I mean, you could save a lot of money doing it that way. But anyway, I guess we'll find out. But let me know how you feel. I'll check you later.